this is Gadget Man 404 and today I'm doing a demo um, tutorial on how to change your motors. Now the quickest way for me and the easiest way is to strip it down completely. Now there's 22 screws in total. Two screws will be holding the actual pod onto the base of the actual frame and there's two little screws in um, inside the pod uh, holding the motor into the, the motor shaft or I call it the motor housing or whatever you want to call it. Now this one I've already changed. So basically you take the legs off and uh, there's two legs, there's two screws on the each leg. So that's 22 screws for the body not including the two screws on the legs and the two screws on the actual pods themselves. So there's 30, 40 odd screws. Do not lose them. I stick them all in piles together so I know the small ones and the long ones and that type of thing. And then basically, so when you strip it all down, take it all apart, uh, you'll be left with these. Now these will come out now. And as you can see, I'm just trying to get all to see, there's two screws there. So you take those two screws out and then the motor just pops off. Now, do one motor at a time and replace the same colour motor with what you've replaced. So, this is black and red. I'm going to replace it with black and red. So, just bear with me. I'm going to take the screws out. So, I don't know if you can see me working here. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, there is another way of doing this where you leave the motors still attached to the frame. But then you're trying to get a screwdriver through that little gap. Now, getting the screws out is okay, but trying to put the screws back in, the screws are very short and they're not tapping screws, they're like flat ended. So, you need like a magnetized screwdriver, would be a better solution to, you know, so you can hold the screw and pop it in the hole. So, I'm just doing that. That is my faulty motor. I mean I don't know if it is completely faulty but I'm changing it anyway because I'm changing the flight control board and everything so I've taken away a red and black. Here's my new motor look still in a bag red and black and basically just do one at a time and then you can't sort of get a bit confused and like oh did I put the red in that one or the blue one in that one you do one at a time and then basically you can't mess it up and then uh, and then just do it like that really uh, as I say this is a long winded way but from a demonstration video that I've seen it's not easy doing it the shorter way so this way, that's it, and then you just have to line up that screw, or you could actually move the cog out of the way completely if it's getting a bit hard to get to the screw, and you could do it like that. So you could. There's a few ways around it, but but that's that's it. Now, some people put a bit of grease. On the cog wheel, uh, that's totally up to you. I've had mine since July and I've not greased it, um, but that's my preference. But if you want to grease it, you're more than uh, you're more than welcome to. So I hope basically that has helped you guys with how to change a motor. Now it's a complete strip down, so it's uh, you know it's a big process, but. In the process, you'll get to see all your LED housings and the LED lights, the flight control board, the, where the switch is connected to your flight control board. Because I've got to fit my flight control board. I've got to resolder a new one. But I thought, well, I may as well do the whole thing and I'm changing all the motors and everything at the same time. So please uh, drop me a line. Please like, subscribe. Uh, if you find this has been helpful, uh, let me know. I get back to all my messages that are left me. This has been GadgetMan404, out.
Or one thing I failed to mention in when changing the motors. Basically, I've told you about stripping down, taking all the screws out, etc. But one thing I didn't mention is obviously your propellers are connected here. So you have to take the cone off of the propeller, then you've got this like a plastic spacer, and then in this shaft there's like a little hole, and you have like these little tiny, tiny bits of metal that goes through the hole. So you have to take that out, take the spacer off, take the cone off, take the propeller off, and then obviously the motor housing will come out entirely. So I do apologize, I left that bit of info out, and obviously some people that are newbies might be a bit, well oh, wait a minute, I did all what he said and I still can't get the motors out. So some people say, oh, that's a stupid thing, and everyone will know that. But I like to be informative, and I forgot to tell you that. So basically, I'm just giving you that piece of information. And basically, yeah, that should, uh, that should help you guys out. So yeah, hope that's been helpful. Please like, subscribe, drop me a line, leave me a comment. Uh, this has been Gadgetman404, out.